Now I'm going to take you through a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which is the removal of the gallbladder. This is just a mock, but rest assured that when we do this for real, this is all sterile. Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is one of the most common operations that I perform, and it's one of the most common operations that we perform at Orlando Regional Medical Center, and actually Orlando Health on the whole. In order to enter the abdomen, I typically use something we call the varus needle. A varus needle helps me introduce the carbon dioxide gas into the abdomen. That's what creates the big area that I can operate in. We then put ports in in order to guide our instruments. Anything that's blue is sterile. So we don't touch anything, we don't breathe on anything, we don't interact with anything unless we're fully gowned and gloved. Before we enter the operating room, we have to clean our hands, just like they do in the movies. So we have a small scrub brush. Time to go get dry. Now we're ready to go. So I make an incision just above your belly button here, a second small incision up top here, and two other incisions, one here and one down here. The 12 millimeter port goes right here. One of the five millimeter ports goes here. The second one goes here, and the third one goes over here on the side. So after we blow you up with air, your belly kind of sticks out to here. And when we put that camera in, I can aim it up this way towards this right upper side. And that's where we'll find your gallbladder and we'll kind of push it up to the side here and be able to find the structures that we need to in order to take it out safely. In laparoscopy, we do have the surgical lights on until we get into the abdomen. What you can see is that we have these LED lights that come out through the tip of our scope. And so this way we can see what's going on in the abdomen. We have the screens that are all lit up and we're operating through the screens themselves. The group that helps take out your gallbladder includes the surgeon. Often we have an assistant, whether that's a resident or it's an advanced practice provider or a registered nurse that's on the team. We also have our scrub techs that help us to clean the back table, to get everything organized, to hand us the instruments that we need. And oftentimes they are anticipating the next part of the operation, so they are right and ready with the next instrument. We also have our circulating nurses to help uh, get the patient positioned, get them under anesthesia, and they also help to record the case. So up on this side is where the anesthesiologist and the nurse anesthetist will be to, to help make sure that the patient goes to sleep properly and stays asleep during the operation. A very important part during any case and actually before any part of the procedure is performed is what we call the timeout. A timeout is where everything in the room stops and we all focus on the patient. Do we have the right patient in the right setting doing the right operation with the right equipment? This was just a little glimpse behind the curtain into the operating room for when we do take out someone's gallbladder or we do any operations in the operating room. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. Um, if you are having issues, uh, please come see us.